Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Clem by Sam. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing a Charlotte Tilbury starter kit video. And basically what I mean by that is I'm going to share my favorite products from my Charlotte Tilbury collection so that if you are looking to start your own Charlotte Tilbury collection or you're just maybe wanting to try out something from the brand, you kind of know which products you should try first because the products I'm going to be showing you today are the products that I think are absolutely worth it from the brand and I think that you should try if you are wanting to try something from Charlotte Tilbury. So I think without further ado, if you want to see my Charlotte Tilbury starter kit video, then please keep watching. I'm just basically going to go through these products in a random order and just show you the products from my collection that I think are truly worth your money and that I think are Charlotte's best product from the brand. Now I haven't tried everything from Charlotte Tilbury, definitely not, but I have tried a lot of products and I kind of know which products I think are worth it and which ones I think are just like average. So I'm basically just going to share the products that I think are really worth your money. So the first product we're starting with today is a product you've seen on my channel multiple times if you've actually watched my channel and that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I truly think this is Charlotte's best foundation. I've tried the Light Wonder Foundation as well but I just prefer this one because it just looks so flawless on the skin. I'm wearing this right now and as you can see it just looks super flawless without looking like too cakey. I think a lot of people think that a full coverage foundation is going to be really heavy or like cakey on your skin, but that definitely doesn't have to be the case. Full coverage foundations can still look flawless on your skin. And like the name says, I think it is definitely looks airbrushed and flawless. I just think how you should apply this is to not apply too much. And if you don't apply too much, then it just looks better on your skin. And I just wear this on an everyday basis as well. I don't always wear foundation, but when I wear foundation, I mainly just wear this one because like I said I don't think it's too much I just think if you apply a little bit it looks really beautiful on the skin and I think this is an absolutely beautiful foundation I have mine in the shade 2 neutral and she has a pretty good shade range in this one so that is the Airbrush Flawless foundation and of course I will have all of these products linked down below in case you're wanting to try anything and the second product that I think is totally worth your money from Charlotte Tilbury is the Filmstar bronze and glow and I have mine in a mini I think the mini are still available on their website. She came out with these for the holidays of 2020. So I knew I really wanted to pick one up because I have been wanting to try this product for a long time, but the full size one is pretty expensive. And I have to say this mini one is totally worth your money because I have been using this so much and there's still so much product left in here. I haven't even hit pan. I can even like count how many times I've used this gel and it just looks so pretty. I'm wearing this bronzer and the highlighter right now so as you can see the bronzer is just a really soft bronzer and for me it really has the perfect undertone it's not too warm toned it's not too cool toned and it just looks really beautiful on the skin as you can see that is what that bronzer is looking like and then the highlighter I'm wearing today is actually the highlighter from Just Duo as well and I just think this highlighter is so beautiful. It's one of my favorites from my collection. As you can see, it's like pretty noticeable, but it's not too blinding. It just looks really smooth on the skin. And I just really love the color of this. I think this looks absolutely stunning. And like I said, even this mini will last such a long time. So I definitely think this is a nice investment if you wanna try out something from Charlotte Tilbury because I think you will get a lot of use out of this product and it also will last a long time. So I don't really feel the need to buy like the full size one. But if you don't have any other bronzers or highlighters in your collection and you're just looking to invest in a really good duo that will last you so long, then maybe you can try the full size but for me this mini is so good it's not worth it for me to buy the full size because I have other bronzers and highlighters in my collection that I need to use so for me this mini is just perfect and I'm so glad that she released this. Then speaking of bronzers, another staple in my collection and another product that I think is totally worth it from Charlotte Tilbury is the Airbrush Bronzer. So I think you guys have seen this like many times on YouTube because it's quite a popular bronzer, but this is what it looks like. It's a really big sort of like shell and I have mine in the shade 2 medium, which I was kind of surprised by the shade range of this bronzer. I usually go with one of the lightest shades, but the light shade of this to me just looked like a setting powder. So I went with medium. 
And I'm glad I did because this really is the right shade for me. So if you are on my skin tone, then definitely go with the medium and not the light one if you want your bronzer to be a bit more noticeable. But this is such a beautiful bronzer. It looks so smooth on the skin. This is a bit more warm toned than the Filmstar Hollywood Bronze and Glow. So if you are looking for a bit more of a warm tone bronzer or you don't want the highlighter, then I'd recommend this bronzer because it's really, really nice. As you can see, the pan is absolutely massive and it's actually also refillable so if you happen to run out of this bronzer then you can just keep the packaging and just buy the refill and I know this bronzer is quite pricey but there's also so much product in here let me see so there is 16 grams of product in this bronzer which is absolutely massive I'm going to check how much is in my Huda bronzer so so this one from Huda, for instance, is a bit cheaper, but this only has 8 grams of product, whereas this has 16 grams of product. So this is definitely an absolutely massive bronzer, but I really love it and I use it so much. The only downside to this is you probably won't run out of this. So if you are like a project panner or you really want to use up makeup products, then this one might be a bit too big. But if you just want a beautiful bronzer for every day that's so easy to apply, looks absolutely smooth on the skin and just amazing, then I highly recommend this one from Charlotte Tilbury, the Airbrush Bronzer. I just love this bronzer so much. I've used this bronzer so much already and also I think it has a 24 month shelf life so that's pretty good. You don't have to use this up within a year. So then let's say you don't prefer powder bronzer but you just want to use a cream product. Then I highly recommend the Hollywood Contour Wand. And even if you still want to use powder bronzer, I'd still recommend this to contour because this is such a beautiful product. So if you are looking to maybe like try cream contour or you just want something that's a bit more easy to work with then for instance like a contour stick and just something that's a bit more soft and I think you will really love the Hollywood Contour Wand. This is a really famous product product from Charlotte Tilbury. I think this has been around for quite a while and this is just one of her like wands that comes with the sponge applicator. So basically what you do is you twist this open, then you just dot it on your face and then you blend it out with a brush and this blends so easily. I just think this product is so good and even though there is not too much product in here I still really think it's worth the price because it's a product that just kind of got me into cream contour and just something that made me fall in love with cream contour or cream bronzer but this is the Hollywood contour wand and I highly recommend this product because it's so good. Then if you've been following my channel, you probably know how much I love the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads. It took me quite a while to get one of these because these quads retail for about 50 euros. And I was just like, no way am I going to pay 50 euros for an eyeshadow quad. That's like kind of ridiculous. But then I got one from my friends for Christmas and this has just made me fall in love with the Charlotte Tilbury quad. So I purchased another one and then I got another one as a gift with purchase and I just love these quads. So the one that I'd recommend starting out with if you just want to add one quad to your collection and you like sort of like a neutral type of color story, I would recommend the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerized Quad and this is actually the one I'm wearing right now. But I'm wearing this with a cream eyeshadow that I'll show you in a bit. But this is the quad that I'm wearing right now and it's absolutely beautiful. So basically this is just sort of like a muted version I would say of the Pillow Talk one. It's a bit less pink and it's a bit more neutral but it still kind of has a like pink tone to it and it just looks so beautiful for everyday look. This is definitely a palette I reach for a lot so this just comes with one matte shade then you have two like regular shimmer shades for over the lid and then you have like one topper shade. I'm actually not wearing the topper right now. Today I'm wearing this one with the lighter shimmer but the reason why I think these quads are worth your money is because they're really easy to work with and even though this color story isn't unique it is just like an easy quad. If you want to wear eyeshadow to work and you just don't want to think about what looks you want to do and you just want to apply eyeshadow that you don't have to think about that will always look good together then I really recommend these quads because you only get four shades so basically all four shades from the quad go with each other and this is just so easy to create a look with so I usually reach into these palettes when I don't really want to think about what I look I want to do I just want to do something really quick and easy so this product is not necessarily part of this video even though I like it I don't think you necessarily need it if you have one of the quads but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in the shade Pillow Talk and I just wore this as an eyeshadow base so that is what I'm wearing with my Exaggerized quad today 
Then also, the Charlotte Tilbury brow products are really, really good, and especially these two. So these are the Legendary Brow Stinted Brow Gel, and then the Brow Cheat Pencil in the shade Taupe. So this is also in the shade Taupe, but this is basically a tinted brow gel, kind of similar to the Benefit Gimme Brow. This won't necessarily hold your brow hairs into place, but it will give them a nice tint, and you don't really need to wear a pencil with this. So this one is perfect for like everyday makeup looks where you just want to fill your brows in fairly quickly, and I noticed that this lasts really well throughout the day so this is a really nice product that I really enjoy and then the Charlotte Tilbury brow cheat is such a staple in my collection ever since I got this. I got this when it's launched in April and at first I was like I'm not going to spend that much money on an eyebrow pencil but then I actually saw that you can actually buy a refill so this is refillable and if you buy the refill it's not as expensive as when you buy the full size pencil so the first time you buy this you have to buy like the entire pencil but the second time you buy this you won't have to pay as much because you just get the refill and you can just pop that in this pencil so I think this is already my second or third refill because I just use this brow product so much I use this pretty much every day to fill in my brows and it just looks absolutely beautiful this is also the product I'm wearing right now and I just think this is really easy to work with I don't even feel like you need that much product I just kind of like fill them in and then I go over everything with the spoolie and kind of like blend it out and I just really like how it looks so that is the brow cheat and the legendary brows brow gel and I think both of these products won't disappoint if you are looking to buy higher end brow products. And then the last two products from this video I want to show you are two lipsticks and I have so much other Charlotte Tilbury stuff in my collection that I think it's worth it but for this video I really wanted to limit it to the products that I absolutely love and I think are really good staples in your collection if you get these. I'm not saying the other products in my collection are bad products but these are just the products that I would recommend if you are looking to start your Charlotte Tilbury collection and just products that will be staples in your collection and won't disappoint. So the two lipsticks I want to show you are both in two different formulas. So we have the Charlotte Tilbury Hot Lips in the shade JK Magic and then we have the Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. I'll start with Very Victoria because that is the one I'm wearing right now and I think if you've heard of Charlotte Tilbury you've probably heard of like the Pillow Talk collection so I was thinking about should I mention the Pillow Talk lipstick because I think that's a really beautiful lipstick but that lipstick is quite pinky toned and I would say not every one is into that so I wanted to recommend Very Victoria in this video because as you can see it's a bit more brown it's a bit more of like a muted pink rather than like a really pinky lipstick if that makes sense but it still has that sort of like pinky undertone to it but it's a bit more mauve I would say so this is what it looks like it's a really pretty lipstick and just any Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the Matte Revolution formula, I just love because this is so comfortable to wear. As you can maybe see, it also looks really smooth on the lips. It doesn't look like dry, but it's still matte, but it's like a really comfortable matte. So it wears really nice throughout the day. It lasts on your lips, but it's not drying. And that is just what I love about these Matte Revolution lipsticks. They're my absolute favorite lipstick formula because I love a matte lipstick, but I don't want my lips to be like super dry. And these ones, won't make your lips dry they're just really comfortable to wear throughout the day and also they last a long time and I just think this shade very Victoria is absolutely stunning so that is why I wanted to mention this one for this video and then the second lipstick, like I said, is JK Magic. And these hot lips too, I think have like a couple of different cases. And then you can also like buy a refill. So I could buy the refill of a different shade and also put it in this like case. So I think that's pretty fun. But the one I'm showing you just comes in this like sort of magic themed case. It's really beautiful. And this is such a beautiful lipstick. So I'll swatch it for you. This is what it looks like and this is actually a different formula so this is her kissing formula and the kissing formula is a bit creamier on the lips it's not as dry as the matte revolution even though those aren't dry but this one is just a bit more creamy i just love how that feels on the lips and i also love how it looks the only thing with the kissing lipsticks is that you'll have to apply these a bit more than the matte revolution because a creamy lipstick is not going to last as long on your lips as a matte lipstick but i really love this shade jk magic I would say on my lips it looks a bit more warm toned than it does from swatching so I think which one you will prefer is kind of like up to you do you like a more like matte lipstick or do you like a more like creamy lipstick that will basically decide 
which of these you should get for your collection but I definitely think both of these won't disappoint and if you're not really into D shades then these lipsticks both come in a lot of different shades. Okay everyone then this was it for my Charlotte Tilbury starter kit video. I really hope that this was helpful to you guys and that this gave you some inspiration as to which products you can add to your Charlotte Tilbury collection if you are looking to start or expand your Charlotte Tilbury collection. One of my favorite brands and I just love her products. I always love the looks that they create and it is just really a brand that I personally am very into so that is why I love buying from this brand and these are the products I would recommend if you want to start your collection as well. But I did want to say that if you did enjoy this video then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, I want to thank you guys all so much for watching. I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!